A News 12 exclusive tonight with the sister of an Uber Eats driver who was seriously hurt in a carjacking in Westport over the weekend. Our Marissa Alter is at Norwalk Hospital where the victim has been since this incident Saturday night. So Marissa, how is she doing now? Roxanne, her sister tells me she is in bad shape physically with broken bones and a serious head injury that's affected her cognitive abilities. But there has been one silver lining, the kindness of strangers. Doing Uber Eats every night, she loved it. She never, ever imagined that she would pick up a bag in five seconds, turn around and have the experience she had. Mary Sheridan, 64-year-old sister, was just doing her job. Westport police say the Uber Eats driver ran into Golden Pizza to grab an order and left her car running out front. When she saw a man get into it, she tried to stop him and ended up in the ICU with brain bleeds. She was hit on her head, so she is very confused and her brain is swollen and that'll probably be the most difficult recuperation. Sheridan's sister also has fractures in one of her arms and hands, along with a hip injury that's left her unable to walk. She needs to be transferred to a rehabilitation center, but that's been difficult without health insurance. Working for Uber Eats was her sole source of income. She's come upon really hard times, and especially during COVID, it was kind of making ends meet. Now Sheridan's sister is getting some help from the Westport community. A stranger started a GoFundMe campaign. She just out of the blue did that. Which has raised more than $29,000 so far. I'm just so thankful. I, I don't want to cry, but I'm just so thankful. And Sheridan says despite the long road to recovery, so is her sister. She keeps saying with, in her confusion, I can't believe this community, all these people did this for me. So it's this little glimmer of hope and happiness in this dark, terrible tragedy. And you can find a link to that fundraising effort on our website and the News 12 app. Meanwhile, Westport police continue to investigate this incident. They have arrested two juveniles and an 18-year-old from New Haven in connection with this case. They are still looking for the victim's car and the suspect who drove away with it. In Norwalk, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut.